Greetings YouTube, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> apologies for that, uh, Warrior Craft here and uh, this is uh, going to be a short video about uh, my day pack, I'm out in the country and uh, this is what I carry around, not so always but sometimes when I'm out in the woods, uh, this is where I'm currently at. There's quite a bit of uh, woods here, uh, hazelnut, oak, uh, there's a little creek. Uh, the water is not good to drink right out of it, but a little boil, maybe a filter, one filtering and <clears throat> it should be fine. Although it shouldn't be chemically or uh, uh, it shouldn't contain any chemicals or have heavy metals or pesticides in it, but you can't really trust to the people or the government, so you better filter it. Um, this is the tool. I'm, I'm out here actually making a bow. And this piece of hazelnut is going to become my primitive bow. I'm going to be showing some of that as well. This is what I'm going to be using today. Uh, German stainless steel machete. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. Uh, this I'm just playing around with. This is an M70 bayonet for the AK-47. I'm going to be using this axe, hatchet. Uh, it's very old, but and I've had it forever. I had to fix the handle a little bit at the bottom. It one of these. And if you can see this material, it shattered from all the use. I had to replace that. I'm going to be using this. At this I'm going to be making a handle for, this is a Russian shovel. <laughs> Sorry, something bit me. I'm going to be using this little saw. I'm going to be testing it out. I don't know what it's going to turn out like, but we'll see. Uh, my multi-tool, I've been using it. This is my pack. I'm going to get into that later with a food pouch. Uh, my anti-cut gloves with some leather gloves over them, my bandana, my tobacco pouch. This is my day carry thing. I put stuff that I'm using like my camera, my phone, my cigarettes in there. And then I have another, my small EDC that I carry with me all the time. Uh, I'm gonna get into those, all three of them later. I think I showed, maybe I haven't showed this in, in my other videos because my gear constantly changes, it evolves. But um, I'll get into those in a minute. First I'm going to clean up this tree, cut off all the small branches and um, then I'll get back to you guys and see what I've made. So I had some <clears throat> rain and uh, I had to move a few things around and build my shelter, shelter out of my <clears throat> the piece of wood that's going to be my bow. 
but uh, <clears throat> now that I cleaned it up I'm gonna cut it down to size and then I'm gonna take part of it off and start working on the <clears throat> heat treating it a little bit I'm not gonna wait for it to dry I'm just gonna see what's gonna happen with uh, using young wood and see how long it lasts the I also forgot to mention I'll also be using this saw knife type of thing it's pretty good so far it's cut it's cut through that and I'm gonna use it now to cut it down to about uh, a little less than two meters and uh, I'll be right back guys that's gonna be the next step and uh, then we're gonna slim it down slim it down slim it down slim it down and see to make the bow shape So as you can see, this thing pretty much kicks ass and it'll cut through drywall, plaster, not metal, but for wood it's awesome and it was really freaking cheap, like two, three euros. And here's the full length of what's gonna be the bow. Well, maybe I will have to shorten it a little bit more. <laughs> and uh, I'll be back when I am have split it in two. Well, set up to split it in two. I'm going to show you. Guys, I'm going to do that with my axe and a wedge. <clears throat> so I'm starting off by taking just a little bit off. So you can see and then I'm going to take more off. Um, you have to follow the, for the integrity of the bow, you have to know where to cut so it doesn't uh, get weak, you got to do it within a growth circle and then not fuck with that circle, <coughs> mess with that circle after that. I missed but I'm going to take this part off and then I'm going to start slimming it and then uh, there are people who know <coughs> a lot more about both than I do that make that explain everything much better. There will be some links about <clears throat> where to go if you want to learn. This is just a quick demonstration of my way of doing it. Then the whole thing is I'm gonna do this in just a couple of hours instead of the time it normally takes. And now I'm just gonna <clears throat> baton my axe right down this thing. Except that my baton broke. <clears throat> Got a new baton, got a new setup, and if you can see I already wedged my axe in there, now I'm just going to split it.
when you see the advantage of an axe is when <coughs> this goes into the log too far, you can't hit the head anymore. But on an axe, you can hit the side and keep splitting it like that. I don't recommend doing it with an axe, it has a <coughs> wooden shaft because you might break your axe. But this baby's full tank high carbon steel so it's not going anywhere and right now I've taken out just a little piece but it's just to begin I'm gonna keep taking off pieces like this, piece at a time, until I get it to the size and shape that I want. And I'll show you guys once I'm there so you don't have to see me taking off piece by piece. <coughs> now that I've done some work um, with the axe, I'm gonna continue taking off pieces uh, with my knife now, a lot of people will tell you need a specialized knife to do this but in actuality you can do it with any knife you just show me you guys can see put it in place grab it and start pulling down Got some visitors that have come out to hang out with me. Let's go and say hi. Hello, horses. So I got. Alisa, Jagoda, Julia, and Lola. It's hot. They think I have some food, but I don't have anything horses. So they're gonna be unhappy and just booger off because I have no food. No food. No food, Alisa. Sorry. Actually, that's Elisa. That's her mother. And uh, she used to be a racehorse, pure blooded English. But, uh, eh. It's the neighbors. And that's a full grown horse, by the way, the little one. Yeah, my parents got that. Very useful creature. Other than it's hilarious. Yeah, so they came to say hi. We're gonna continue working on this and finish up the bow. I'm gonna get back to you guys when I've slimmed it down a little more. Right now it's there. I'm gonna get it about ye thick, so I'm gonna take off one more thumb. Then I'll get back to you guys, show you where we're at.
So, about an hour later, this piece of wood is slowly starting to resemble the bow it should be. I'm still working on it with my knife, just slowly taking off wood bit by bit. Set it down. It's a little bit glary, a little too much light on it, but it's a little bit, the wood is a little bit crooked, so I'm going to straighten it by fire later on. But I've taken down the top, and this is the middle where my handle is going to be, which I'm still working on. I got to take off more here, but the belly I'm not going to touch anymore. That I don't want, and I can see. Uh, where the wood grain is, so I'm gonna follow that to stay in a growth circle. I'm gonna slim down this other side, get it down like that, make the notches on top, and work out some <coughs> handle. And that's gonna be it. That's gonna be about uh, two, three hours of work from log like that into this. Starting to get a little more in the shape I want. Starting to a little more bow like. And right now I'm doing <coughs> just trimming the wood down. We got a visitor. What up, horse? <clears throat> so yeah, in about two, three hours more, this bow will be done. And then I'll show you guys everything. <clears throat> well, we're gonna string it and make an arrow and try to shoot it. But I've taken off most of the wood, <clears throat> and now it comes the long work, the hard work actually, the details. She was rolling around, but we missed. Now I know this might look dangerous, but because I'm cutting towards myself, so if you want to do this, cut away from yourself. Never, <clears throat> ever towards yourself. 
Why am I doing it towards myself? Because I have years of experience using a blade. And I have <clears throat> very well, <coughs> very good control, so I'm not going to cut myself. But although my knife is getting a little dull, which is going to be a problem.